Smelling smoke. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hope you're all doing well. We're having a Japanese vintage motorcycle ride today. I've never ridden this bike before. Um, Jeff's up ahead on his Suzuki water buffalo, his kettle. And he's just finished doing some work on his points. And so he's taking it for a test ride. And I'm here on his Kawasaki. A great bike, really smooth. It's a big, big, heavy bike. For me, a little guy, but uh, immensely smooth, got lots of power. Kind of work it into the corners, but it's just great. So we're heading down for a little coffee, uh, and I won't even tell you where, because you already know, I'm sure. And then we're gonna do a little local ride. Finally got a dry day and it's going to be nice weather this week so hopefully a little bit more riding in the near future physically I'm sort of reaching for these handlebars and feel like I'm mounted on a horse it's pretty high up my little feet hardly touch the ground but it's just fine yeah and when once I'm on I feel like I'm a jockey on a thoroughbred very fine bike It's interesting to see his turn signals are actually red and not orange or amber. Don't you just love the smell of two stroke in the morning? smooth gearbox
lots of power as well it just pulls over that hill there it's actually a beautiful day for riding even though we're heading towards the end of June it's very nice and cool and dry thankfully we had smelly vision because Jeb's bike smells great. I think he's got some bean oil in there as well. <laughs> it smells really good. It gets up there, it's very interesting power delivery, it's really enjoyable. Very sort of a clean, smooth progression through the gears. This is the Willamette River. It goes all the way down into downtown Portland and beyond. Well, you certainly feel the wind on this bike. I think it's, you don't have as much of a crouched stance, you know, you're kind of up there in the wind. Like I say, like a sail. <laughs> you got to hold on. That two-stroke sounds wicked though, doesn't it, when it takes off? kind of sound to it, hasn't it? It's a very distinct sound. It's effortless to ride. Super easy. And that's why they became so amazingly popular, right? Because they're so enjoyable, so smooth and easy to ride and they're fast and powerful and oil tight, reliable. <laughs> the list goes on. Well, we're just going to stop at CC's, of course, for a quick coffee before we go on our ride. This is Newburgh, Oregon. It's a lovely place. It's becoming quite a popular place to live. It, a neutral light and I, I, the neutral light came on I let the clutch out and stalled it yeah. no, it's alright that's me <laughs> there we go the real neutral, Hi, neutral all right. yeah well second time's a charm a 
very enjoyable coffee break at CC's. And now for the ride. And the sun just came out. All this rain has kept Oregon looking very green into the summer, or the early summer anyway. The bean oil that I've ingested on this ride should keep me regular for the next week or so. was great. suspension is excellent on this bike. It's bouncing around a little bit on the road. It feels real comfy. It's just so great to get out into the country. Oh, it's beautiful. This really clears your head. This is a really pleasant ride down here. So, what's the next project in the Mighty Garage? Well, it's the Manxman! Yes, I've 
committed myself to resuming work on the Manxman. And I hope that will be of some relief to some of the guys. I've been sort of procrastinating and putting it off and dealing with other projects. And there might be a few little things that we deal with in between, you know, like little one day or tech session jobs. But uh, no, I've decided I'm going to spend a little time on my own projects for a while. And I've got, I, I think I've hinted at this, I've got some exciting news about the Manxman. Uh, that I'd love to share with you. I'm just trying to formulate my ideas of how I share everything that's been going on just recently. Been some uh, interesting events that I'd love to share. And then we'll definitely get started. Um, one thing that I haven't done yet is I haven't got the colour figured out. We've had several attempts at that and I got something in the in the works but uh, no major breakthroughs yet on the Pacific Blue or the Polychromatic Blue for the Manxman so uh, more to follow on that but definitely some other updates that I would like to share with you It's a great bike, I'm really enjoying this. It's wonderful. Tons of fun. It's real responsive, it's very light. Tons of power. Just feels like it needs one more gear maybe, that possibly came later. going to be a cool place when it's finished. Oh, great. He's a really good rider. Seems to make it look effortless. I mean, I've been riding a long time, but I'm still learning. I think that's the secret, right? You never want to feel that you've accomplished being a great rider. Always be on the lookout and riding defensively and feel like you're always learning and trying to improve. keep reaching for the gear shift just feels like maybe one more gear would be fine having said that I am doing 60 miles an hour so <laughs> it's probably enough
Whoa. <laughs> Bouncy. That was bouncy. That's a fixer upper. a beautiful view wow this is great oh that was brilliant I loved that oh it's a great bike really enjoyable Look at that, rock solid. Oh. So smooth. Jeff was just saying. You know, it's one of those amazing adaptable bikes that can just put her around town like this. And then you get it on the open road and boom, it transforms into this really great bike for going at higher speeds. Just so versatile. Bienvenue à Lafayette. This is a little town called Lafayette. Very nice. Sorry, it's a city. We're going to take this new bypass of Dundee out to St. Paul. Very nice guy. Well, that was really enjoyable lunch.
just leaving St. Paul, Oregon. There's the rodeo right there. We're getting ready for the July the 4th. Well, thanks for watching guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video of a ride on these super bikes from the 1970s. It was a ton of fun. Really enjoyed it. Great bikes. Really great bikes. Okay, so I will speak to you again next week. Take care of yourselves. See ya.